Hello, hello. Um, this is A House for Hermit Crab. It's by Eric Carl. Uh, my name is Megan, and I do this channel for my little ones, Brayden and Brooklyn, and I'm excited to read to you guys today. This is actually the, one of the kids' favorite books, so I'm pumped to read it to you. Cute little fishies. Time to move, said Hermit Crab one day in January. I've grown too big for this little shell. He had felt safe and snug in his shell, but now it was a little bit too snug. Hermit Crab stepped out of the shell and onto the floor of the ocean, but it was frightening out in the open sea without a shell to hide in. What if a big fish comes along and attacks me, he thought. I must find a new home very soon. Early in February, Hermit Crab found just the house he was looking for. It was a big shell and strong. He moved right in, wiggling and waggling about inside to see how it felt. It felt just right. But it looked so well plain, thought Hermit Crab. In March, Hermit Crab met some sea anemones. They swayed gently back and forth in the water. How beautiful you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and live on my house? It is so plain. It needs you. I'll come, whispered a small sea anemone. Gently, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his shell. That was very nice of him to do. In April, Hermit Crab passed a flock of starfish moving slowly along the seafloor. How handsome you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to decorate my house? I would, signaled a little sea star. Carefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and put it on his house. In May, Hermit Crab discovered some coral. They were hard and didn't move. How pretty you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to make my house more beautiful? I would, creakled the crusty coral. Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it on his shell. In June, Hermit Crab came along a group of snails crawling over a rock on the ocean floor. They gazed as they went, picking up algae and bits of debris and leaving a neat path behind them. How tidy and hard-working you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to come and help me clean my house? I would, offered one of the snails. Happily, Hermit Crab picked him up with his claw and placed it on his shell. That would be nice to have somebody to clean your house for you. In July, Hermit Crab came upon several sea urchins. They had sharp, prickly needles. How fierce you look, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to protect my house? I would, answered a spiky sea urchin. Gratefully, Hermit Crab picked it up with his claw and placed it near his shell. In August, Hermit Crab and his friends wandered into the forest of seaweed. It's so dark in here, thought Hermit Crab. How dim it is, muttered the sea anemone. How gloomy it is, whispered the starfish. How murky it is, complained the coral. I can't see, said the snail. It's like nighttime, cried the sea urchin. Do you guys like when it's dark? I know, it's scary. In September, Hermit Crab spotted a school of lanternfish. Darting through the dark water, how bright you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you be willing to light up my house? I would, replied the lanternfish, and it swam over near the shell. In October, Hermit Crab approached a pile of smooth pebbles. How sturdy you are, said Hermit Crab. Would one of you mind if I rearranged you? Not at all, whispered one of the pebbles. Hermit Crab picked up his shell one by one with his claw and built a wall all around. Now my house is perfect, cheered Hermit Crab. But in November, Hermit Crab felt that his shell had seemed a little bit too small. 
little by little over the year hermit crab had grown soon he would have to find another bigger home but he had come to love his new friends the sea anemone the starfish the coral the sea urchin the snail the lanternfish and even the smooth pebbles they have been very good to me thought hermit crab they are like my family how could i ever leave them that would be very hard to leave your family wouldn't it in december a smaller hermit crab passed by i have outgrown my shell she said would you know of a place for me i have outgrown my house too answered the hermit crab i must move on you are welcome to live here but you must always promise to be good to my friends i promise said the little crab the following january hermit crab stepped up out and the little crab moved in couldn't stay in that little shell forever said hermit crab as he waved goodbye the ocean floor looked wider than he had remembered but hermit crab wasn't afraid soon he spied the perfect house a big empty shell it looked well a little plain but sponges he thought barnacles clownfish sand dollars electric eels oh there are so many possibilities i can't wait to get started so this one um, I think that sometimes in life you grow out of things that you have become accustomed to and that you love and sometimes you have to try to make the best of every situation that you're in. Like he had to live in his old plane shell and he made it very, very beautiful and then when he got big and more experienced he had to move into a new shell and then he was excited and he was positive and he was looking forward to it. Even though he had to start all over again, he was going to make it big and new and beautiful.